Welcome back everyone. So today is my 10th week of my minoxidil journey. Um, I will start with my close-up and then I will transition to um, LCLT mixing with minoxidil and Nivea Soft. Um, this is the second part of it. it. I'll do it a little bit differently and I have some extra information that I've learned so far. Um, but first I just wanted to mention that um, I do have a website called beardimpossible.com and the reason why I mentioned this is because if you guys were wanting to see how um, I have progressed from the beginning till now, you guys can uh, check that there. I have uh, the photo gallery um, in there for different shots of my face. So you guys can see the progress really fast, really quick. And you guys are, it's always updated every Saturday. So even if I don't have a beard update on Saturdays, I do have a photo gallery update there. So you guys can check that out. Um, and let me know if you guys have any feedback as well. All right, and I'll start with my close-up. Thank you. I'll start with my mustache and then move to my underlip and then go to my neck and then I'll transition to the sides. So here we start. Alrighty, thanks everyone, and I will show you my mix. Alright, as I mentioned today, um, we're going to refill my supply for the Nivea Soft here and refill also uh, my liquid minoxidil. Um, <clears throat> the last time, you know, I went through kind of this articles and really like the 2 gram portion to make, or not the 2 gram, but the 2% concentrate that you're supposed to make. I feel like it's more of an arbitrary number. Like someone just, I read the studies and it's, it was like, you know, they took two grams per day of L-carnitine, L-tartrate and increased your androgen receptor activity, um, you know, compared to the baseline of having no um, LCLT. So what I plan to do is, you know, I don't think it's gonna hurt more to add more. So last time I added, I don't know, like two grams here and about one and a half gram here. So, yeah, let me see, 60 milligrams, 2%, so 60 grams, 2% of that would be 1% would be six grams. No, 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 one, that's 10%. So 0. 0.6, so you need like a gram in here and two grams in there. So I'm, I'm just gonna double it up. Sorry, I was doing the math in my head. I'm just gonna double it up and um, so that I, you know, I don't know. And here's the thing, like, I've been on this journey for 10 weeks, guys. I don't know exactly, like, how much impact this is making. I don't even think at the end of the journey that I, I don't even know, you know, I won't know even at the end of the journey how much it impacted. But honestly, I have it why not use it so um that's kind of my idea um i'm having different theories of how like everything works i had one theory when i first researched and when i first started but you know i have a different theory now and i can um expand on that a little bit 
um, while I'm talking about, while I mix uh, the material up here. I'll start with the minoxidil because it's easier. Because you know you can tell that this has a has a wrap and everything, so it's going to be a little bit messy. I'm going to start with this one, with the um, Kroger 5% minoxidil liquid version. So I added a gram last time. I'm gonna I'm gonna double it up and try to do two grams. So there goes one. There's two. There we go. Just give this guy a quick shut. That's good enough there. So you guys saw that. Pretty simple. For this one, I'm going to use a chopstick. I'm going to put this one on the side here. I have to open this. And remember I said it was really like fishy tasting? You know, honestly, after using it for quite a bit, yeah, I mean, you get that little like fishy, I don't know, first uh, impression, but it really tastes like that very tart part of Gatorade. Have you ever had like Tang or whatever? Like, that's what it tastes like, honestly. Like energy drinks. So last time I put two grams, I'm just gonna double it up. So that's two grams last time, that's what I put. I'm going to put, this is the third gram, Put one more gram. So I'm just doubling up the amount that I had last time. That wasn't a full gram, so I'll grab it. there we go. So I got a little bit like 4.3 grams in there of LCLT in there, and I got about double the amount, two grams in here. And here's kind of where my uh, theory is changing of like how this impacts. So supposedly, you know. You take this and, you know, the reason why you don't have, um, you can't grow a beard is because, you know, you, your androgen receptors are supposed to receive like the testosterone and DHT. They're not really like active and they're dormant and, you know, they're, you know, you need them to be working for you. So you're supposed to take this and this is supposed to increase the androgen receptor activity, all that stuff. But... You know, my main hair growing agent right now is minoxidil. And, you know, I originally thought that minoxidil, what it did was, I thought it, you know, had something to do, you know, maybe it somehow made your androgen receptors, you know, woke it up or something. But now I have a new theory. My new theory is that minoxidil really is just has some mechanism that causes your hair follicles to be at continuously at the antigen phase. So if you saw my close up, and the reason why I'm not looking at the camera looking at this right now, because guys, it's spilling on the side and I, the last thing I wanna do is like have it all on the table. So I do apologize if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm really focusing on making sure that I get the mix right and not spilling on, but going back to the um, topic that I talked about. So minoxidil, I thought what it did was potentially, you know, it would activate your androgen receptor. So that's how you end up getting terminal hair, like your beard on your face. But my new theory is that it just increases the antigen phase. So if you guys watch my video, you guys know what an antigen phase is. Basically what that's when the hair grows. And that's when the hair gets thicker, hair gets longer. So you can tell these peach fuzz that I have is just getting thicker and longer and potentially it'll become a beard. So that's what it's actually doing. So I don't know, that's the reason why this is androgen receptor. This is, you know, minoxidil is an, um, just antigen phase. I don't know, man. I, I just don't know how it all, you know, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not an ex. I'm not a scientist either. I don't, you know, I don't. I just really want a beard. That's that's what I really that's what I am. So, you know, that's my change in theory. As I thought, you know, potentially that minoxidil work with your androgen receptors, and now I am thinking it doesn't. And I think I had a common uh, comment on my first video on LCLT about how this turns really goopy. If if I can show it to you guys, it is. It has turned really goopy. So if you guys can see that. It's just the material. 
I mean, but I put double the amount. So, you know, hopefully it works. Hopefully it works better than just 2%. I, just 2% just felt so little. So this is 4%, I would say. 4% here, 4%, oh. 4% here and 4% in the Nivea Soft. And you run out of these pretty quick too. And another thing that I've learned, and I'll end with that, and then we'll catch up with you guys next week, is another thing I learned is you don't really need this. So you don't really need the Nivea Soft to put it in your moisturizer. You can have, I'm looking for my regular moisturizer and I can't really find it. But you can just put it in your regular moisturizer I, too. There are some, uh, there are some um, ingredients that you want to avoid um, if you have in your moisturizer. And I can, I can list those in the description. But I'll end with that. We'll see you guys next week. Just letting you know that you don't have to use this Nivea Soft. This is my last one. And I'll just be going back to my normal moisturizer and mixing it with LCL.